You okay? Great. What's your name, please? Okay. Lovely name. So, you're appointed here by Dr. Roberts, is that correct? Okay. Okay. So the details seem to match. And if I'm right, you're here for the confidence session, is that okay? Okay, excellent. So if you'd just like to take a seat, then we can take a briefing, okay? Okay, wonderful. Now, the report says here that you've been issued an appointment with me specifically for a self-confidence session um, from Dr. Roberts. Now, he has pointed out a few brief things since your appointment with him. And I'm just going to take you through them and you can just check with me that they're correct. Okay. Okay, so he said that you've been dealing with mild depression, is that correct? I'm sorry to hear that. You said that you've had some family trauma. Yeah. You think that these may be some of the reasons why your confidence is so low. And I'm sorry to hear that. Well, um, we have plenty of activities signed up today um, to help encourage um, confidence within you. We realise it won't just take one session for you to magically have um, quite an ego. But uh, we want to take this step by step, and I hope to work with you, not just as your therapist, but as your friend, on a personal level. And over sessions, which you choose, the days, as you wish, um, they are 30 minutes or an hour. We hope to progress and make you a confident person, and hope by the end of this you won't need to see my face by the end of the year. Okay. So... I have an activity set up um, designed to help boost your confidence. This activity is new and we like to try different things every day as therapists to help guide our um, clients into thinking that they should have confidence and some self-esteem within them because everybody deserves confidence. As you know, I'm sure that confidence can, self, no confidence, can um, wreck like your day-to-day -day life and your social life and it can have a massive impact psychologically and physically on you and I'm sure you may have noticed this. So when has this lack of self-confidence begun? Okay. So it's been a while then. Okay, so have you had um a diagnosis of social anxiety, anxiety, agoraphobia. You haven't. Have you searched into these? Okay. Well, um, self confidence um, and not having it can very much link with anxiety. Um, it's extremely common to have anxiety, to stick and be misdiagnosed. So I could issue you an appointment with specialists in the area and they can help you if you may have an anxiety um, problem. It's extremely common and uh, it can be easily treatable, just like with a confidence session, so we can try and check it out. And there are plenty of tests um, to do, nothing scary, I assure you, but this should help you. Okay. So, can we seek guidance in anyone else? Friends? Family? You haven't? May I ask why? Trust? Well, there are several factors that play a part in confidence and I think trust is one of them. So, we're going to be working on that today as well. Okay. So. Okay, that's the book we analysed. So, today I'm going to be um, starting the activity with you. And don't worry, it's nothing frightening. So, I have a set of cards. And you won't see the word until you choose the card. And they each play a significant part in increasing confidence. So, I'd like you just to tell me when to stop. 
and we're going to focus on this word and how it may help you of yourself as a person. So you just tell me when to stop. So, the word you've chosen, which plays a significant role in being confident, is bravery. Bravery um, is something very difficult to achieve. We're all humans, we understand this. But, how do you feel? How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as brave? No. Do you not like to um, try out different things? You don't. Um, so, how do you see, how do you think others see you? Do you think they see you as brave? I don't know. Okay, well, that's fine. It's okay. It's difficult to judge your own mentality towards things. It's very important sometimes that we take a plunge and we be brave sometimes. We need that sense of adrenaline to conquer something, otherwise if we hold ourselves back from things, how will we truly know if um, if we could have done it or not? And with regrets in life, you begin to grow up, realising that um, all these mistakes you've done in the past and sometimes you wish that you had done them. So being brave sometimes can allow you to have a new sense of being and a sense of accomplishment. For example, in competition, even when it comes to a sport, or even a game on a console. So, something I'd like to recommend for you is, do you do any sport activities? Do some running? Okay, well, if you feel um, able, then there are several sporting activities in your local area at the Leisure Centre, which help people to come together and interact with their social skills. So I say, exercise and joining in with sporting activities, whether by yourself or with others, um, especially competitively, help produce endorphins in the body, which can make you extremely happy. And we all know happiness is a main part in confidence. As you'll notice with our session, um, there are a lot of different things which will help gain your confidence within yourself. And so, I would like to assign to you um, that you could possibly take up a sporting activity. If you don't feel comfortable in doing this, um, may I suggest something um, maybe possibly more creative? Um, gaming um, can also increase um, competitiveness, healthily, and social skills. They help work in a team in some games, and if you don't feel confident enough to meet people just yet, um, there's always friend groups online, like chat, like chat rooms, there's advice guides, especially with the NHS, who help specialise and put up groups um, in their local centres, and they hope to combine people together to um, meet with their problems. But if you don't feel comfortable in doing this, um, there are several ways online that you can help make friends and, and socialise and just, and as, that, as you meet new people you begin to be aware of yourself and you see yourself within them. So, that is bravery, done, I think. So, we have a few more words. So if you just like to tell me when to stop. Nothing scary, just like the last one. Okay, so this word you've chosen is love. Now, love plays a very important part in our happiness. Everyone should feel loved and give out love to everyone around them whether it is in some mild form or in an extreme form. Now, as, as your therapist, I'd love you to know that you deserve to be loved 
because you are a wonderful person. You deserve to be respected and treated equally to everyone else. Because I believe everyone is special in their own way. And I promise you that. So, how do you feel you express your love to others? Gifts? Yeah, that's always one. You meet up with friends, okay? Can't think of any others? Okay. Well, how do you think your friends express their love to you? They come over when you need them? That's extremely sweet of them. Would you do the same for them? Okay, wonderful. That's just one example of how much of a loving person you are. In the report it stated that um, you felt as if no one understood you and from a broken relationship apparently which um, ended a couple of months ago and you said it's left you felt quite frail and quite broken um, Heartbreak can do that to you, I'm afraid It can lower your self esteem and you begin to lose your identity but with the help of your friends and your family and feeling loved, um, we can hope to move on from that. So, as a way of advice for this, I just can only encourage you to express your love towards everyone and you must allow people to be let in, otherwise if you do not let them in to a degree, this could possibly push them away and pushing them away and can make you feel isolated and definitely never understood. It's nice that you keep on con keep in contact with your friends, it's something that um, a lot of people don't do when they have um, issues, it can really bring them down and they feel they want, don't want to burden anyone with their problems. But that's something I encourage you to do with someone close to you. Do you have someone close? your family? Good. So yes, I encourage you to um, give out love and give out happiness to others. And I want you to realise that you are loved by those around you and by those who you will meet in the future. Love also plays a very important line with hope and always give yourself hope on that there are possibilities for anything. Okay? So, we'd like to do just a few more today, and then we can do the rest of them in the next session if you wish. chosen respect. Now, a lack of self-respect can prevent you from fulfilling your potential and um, achieving healthy relationships. Respect towards yourself and towards others is extremely important when we are helping boost your confidence. We must learn to respect others and we must learn to respect ourselves. Yeah. There are several ways that you can judge yourself if you are respectful or not and these can help easily prove if you are or not. So, when was the last time you think you called someone ugly or a harmful word in any way? You don't remember, that's a good thing. It's really a good thing. That shows you take other people's emotions into consideration, which is good. Have you ever stolen anything? haven't? No? Good. And are you honest with people? As long as it doesn't hit their feelings? That's perfect. You've just proved to yourself that, um, that you are a respectful person. And again, so um, combining this with your confidence, this should be 
I'm very swift for you feeling better about yourself. Now, I may introduce you, there are a few basic practices that you can do at home. Just stand in front of a mirror and look at yourself. Now, tell yourself that you must have control over what you're doing when it comes to your finances and you must be in charge of yourself. You must tell yourself that you are the boss of yourself and your emotions cannot get the better of you in any way. Always take control of your finances, always try to take control of who you are because respecting yourself first is the key to everything. And like we did with love and bravery, showing that you are brave within yourself and showing you have love for yourself and being surrounded by those who think that you have that, they, and you're all set to become a person who I think you are. So, I think that's our words complete for today. Now, um, would you like to book another session? You would. Good. Okay, so. How does next Wednesday sound? Yeah, good. Now, as some basic feedback, I'd just like to know, um, um, are the activities I did with you today? Do you feel comfortable with them? You do? Good. Like I said at the beginning, it's something fairly new, so I didn't want you to be uneased by it. Because, um, as your therapist, I want you to be able to confide in me and trust me. Okay, so is it going to be a half an hour session or an hour? Like a half an hour? Okay. Okay, so if you'd like to schedule a time with um, Connor in the registry, um, just outside the door as you were passing to come in, then um, he can sort something for you and you'll receive a slip to bring into your next appointment. Okay, and you'll be seeing me next time. Okay, and we're going to be focusing on some more words and we're going to see how you are. If you could for me, try and keep a diary of your emotions and write down something good you did for yourself. Um, did you um, join a sporting activity? Did you uh, meet a new friend? Um, did, something that made you happy during the week? Try and keep note of these. Don't write down the negatives unless it's really um, impacting on your life because we don't want to worry whilst you're gone. So, thank you so much for today, you've been so wonderful, and it's been a pleasure helping you today. So, I hope you have a wonderful week until I see you next, so take care, yeah? Okay.